Step four: making a counter melody. Now, in the last video, we did harmony, which was adding notes above the melody that go at the same time as the melody, which we call a harmony because it's really dependent on the melody, right? It did the same sort of rhythm of the melody. They were just notes that went right along with it. But this one is going to be a little more independent, this counter melody. All right, so you can make it a little higher than your melody or a little lower than your melody. But this is melody number two, counter melody. All right, so I'm going to go back to do, which is the red. And let's see, I'm just going to play around with something. I'm going to play around with the rhythm a little bit. Um, all right, let's try that. change it because it sounds a little bit too similar to the melody right they kind of the rhythm is the same they have their notes at the same time I just want it to be a little more exciting so I'm gonna erase it and again you would just erase it by unclicking it do goodbye goodbye okay do 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 Hmm, you see how this one sounds by itself? The melody and the first, the first melody and the, and the harmony don't go at the same time. So same with this one. It has that time all to itself. Let's see how that sounds. I'm going to change this to plucked strings. Mm, okay. Well, that's decent. I think if I had more time, I'd play around with it a little bit more. But for now, I hope you get it a little bit. I want you to make another musical melody, but one that's just a little bit different from your melody and your harmony. All right. Have fun.